No joke, two couples tell me overnight they make love to my videos. Well, at least someone's getting some stimulus. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is LA Late with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update. Hope your direct deposit is still queued up to get entire relief that you really need. And, you know, if you're enjoying this video in a way that I never thought you would, well, thank you for tuning in to Afternoons LA Light. Boy, um, I'm happy my viewers are getting some stimulus relief finally. <laughs> That is not a joke. It's actually apparently happening. Afternoons LA starts every day at 3.30 with the check, then goes to hazard pay at 3, at 4 o'clock. Then <laughs> couples get another round at 4.30 with FPUC, and if they're still ready to go for some more, rent is at 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm glad I'm able to assist a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Incredible great news this morning, beyond, you know, the satisfaction this video brings to some viewers, is the second stimulus check is going to be coming to you soon, and the second stimulus package is going to get approved. I detailed over the weekend, and I'm going to go into incredible details right now about four subject matters that are really teed up for this approval of the second stimulus package. First, I'll be going over what Mitch McConnell said in the last 24 hours. Next, I'll be going over what Mark Meadows said in the last 24 hours and what someone is saying about him. <laughs> A little shady. Uh, and Steve Mnuchin. And finally, someone is asking him about Biden. Well, I'll be telling you a little bit more about a third stimulus package. Oh yes, it's that good. <laughs> Let's get right to the news. You're going to get a second stimulus package approved in September in a way that no one envisioned before. I broke that over the weekend. It's going to start in the Senate. It's going to move around to the Senate uh, because the Senate Democrats really want to headline this and get this going. Going now. They're up for re-election. they got to get it done. And Senate Republicans want it as well. Mitch McConnell is the hero out of nowhere that's trying to really streamline this in a manner in which we never saw possible. He's, of course, up for re-election, and he's among the people who, in the last 24 hours, has called for second stimulus checks, called for $600 FPUC unemployment. Yes, $600. Uh, called for eviction moratorium. Of course, also called for his other stuff, like, uh, like liability protection. But he wants it done, and wants it done right now. So Mark Meadows, uh, Mitch McConnell, the Senate Republicans, Senate Democrats are going to start it there and then bring it back to the Temple of Doom. And, you know, they don't even need to talk to the Temple of Doom. They, you know, they can go to the other, they can go on the other cul-de-sac that has better lighting uh, and less dragons and bats in the belfry. And they can go there and get it done in that part of the house that doesn't involve um, the empress of pettiness. But let me get right to the details. You'll get a $1,200 second stimulus check. Um, if you're a single individual, great news. If you're a married couple, $2,400, great news. How many people in the family? Up to probably five individuals. That looks like where we're going to land. That would be $6,000, $1,200 times five, $6,000 for, for a married couple with um, a couple of dependents. Or if you're a single mom with uh, four dependents, same thing as well. Really great news. It looks like the dependent issue of $1,200 is going to float and not the $500 that the Republicans propose. Um, the last issue that's certainly you know all over the place is the child support issue. And it looks like that child support issue is going to manifest itself as not being taken out because that's where the Democrats won. Um, you can certainly still recoup it on a local level. So really great news about the check, the check, the check, the check, the package, FPUC, I'm going to detail later today, FPUC is going to come back. 2.0, it's going to come back. Um, and you need to watch that video about one hour from now about how much and why Mitch really wants it actually higher than I think it's even going to settle at. I mean, this is incredibly great news. Next, a hazard pay is going to get through. That's the video right after this. And finally, eviction moratorium, the last one. Um, 
the ish, and of course, let me make very, very clear. If you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, or Railroad Benefits, you're going to get a check. You were my first group of followers to really get this channel moving after the EIDL time that I was running back in, uh, you know, April and May. After I came into Stimulus, you, you know, I answered your question. So yeah, you're getting a check. And you're going to get in direct deposit in the manner in which you receive your normal benefits. So if you receive them by direct deposit, you'll get it by direct deposit. You receive them by... Um, by uh, paper, you'll receive it by paper. Remember, I mean, this is so important. I haven't said it in a few days, so I was worried why I don't repeat things after a while because we have a lot of new viewers. If you have a child and you're on benefits, please, and you don't file tax returns, please do a non-filer filing right away because the IRS doesn't know where that child is. Um, this, again, is for people who are on benefits don't file tax returns and have a child. That child is entitled to benefits. Next, there's another group that likely should do a non-filer filing. Remember, there's nothing bad about doing a non-filer filing. It's just an extra level of prote uh, protection. You know, doing it when you don't have to do it doesn't penalize you for anything. Is for those parents that just had a new child and would fall into the eligibility for the sick stimulus check. And Iris doesn't know that child exists. Um, perhaps you haven't declared it on the tax return. You haven't listed a dependent. You know when you do your deductions, number of dependents, things like that? They just don't know you have that new child. So you should go do a non-filer filing as well for that child to make sure that they have that ready to go. You don't want to lose a $1,200 check for just first, you know, because you didn't do a simple form that only takes a second or two. All right, so let's get to some more incredible great news. Some sound bites. Some sound bites first about from Mitch. You know, Mitch has been back in Kentucky. <laughs> the chicken, the fried chicken's not very good in D.C. Um, so he's been back in Kentucky. He's had extra fra extra crispy, and it's made him very happy. And so he's been talking about checks, 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 checks. And he said there has to be another round of stimulus checks. And he wants you to understand that the skinny bill and that's and other excuse me skinny proposal bill and other drafts of things that's not what he thinks he puts those out as feelers if you didn't watch morning tell like go watch it where i explained i did that last night he has a real artistry a maneuvering of which he puts out drafts of things so that people i'm about to sneeze Oh, shoes, Lord, <laughs> which uh, skinniness makes me allergic, uh, in which Mitch tries to really try to figure out how people react things to things. So what you want to know is that and understand is that don't look at skinny bills or skinny drafts or reports on skinny things and say, oh, we're not getting a stimulus check under Mitch. No, no, no. He's talking about literally all around the clock. So he sold, he told WEVV, Web, Web TV, here's what we ought to do in my opinion, liability protection, we got to do an epidemic of lawsuits on the heels of protection, we need to protect nurses and hospitals, universities, K-12 and businesses, we need to focus on kids in schools, renewal of business loan programs, of course hospitals, daycare, another round of stimulus checks um, as well. This is really great news. He said that the Republicans in the Senate, remember these are Senate Republicans, are ready to deliver, stand ready to deliver the checks. And to my Democratic colleagues, the coronavirus doesn't have a stake in this election. Struggling families across America need our help now, and Americans need to stand ready to deliver. I, st I believe we're going to get there, um, and as we're doing this, I believe we're going to get going. So good news. Next. Um... Then Mitch was in Pikeville, Kentucky, and he was asked about stimulus. And he says, we're, we're going to get it done. Um, he sees the situation, but he says, we're going get, to get it done. We need another one. The country needs another one. Uh, and there we go. Mark Meadows. So let's talk about Mark Meadows. He spoke about stimulus checks. Um, someone just tweeted me a few minutes ago an article where Mark Meadows may have said something inconsistent. No, th there's some really bad reporting out there. I'm not going to be disingenuous. I'm not going to be um, disrespectful to news publications. But there's some very bad reporting out there. Just stay with me on this because I'm reading exact quotes from these people. Mark Meadows within the last 24 hours. I think we can come up with an agreement on stimulus checks to Americans and enhance uh, unemployment. Um, those issues are not as devices as we may think. We can get these out and we can get them going. He, he talked specifically about $1,200 checks. Um, then Trump, I mean, he said in the last 
two days, this comment. I'd like to see it be very high because I love the American people when talking about $1,200 or more. I want the people to get it. You know, the economy is going to come back. We saved millions of lives. We're bringing the economy back. Um, so this is really great news. All right, now... A little bit of shady news. I mean, we all love a little bit of shady news. Now that you know you're getting checks, now that you know you're getting the second stimulus package, now you know that how it's going to be done by route to the Senate first, staying away from the Temple Doom. Now it's just a little bit of shadiness. Um, we need some fun. It's a, it's a Monday afternoon. What's the big difference between April and May uh, and today when you, um, what is the big difference between April and May when we had big, broad, bipartisan consensus and today? Who said this quote? This is a Democrat out of Virginia, Gary Connolly. He said the variable, the new factor, is Mark Meadows. Wow. He says that Mark Meadows is the reason why the stimulus package did not get done as quickly as possible. Closing the deals is not Mark Meadows' strongest suit. His total track record is blowing it up. There is other sides of Mark, but his track record here on the Freedom Caucus of the Bo Boner tr vacating the Senate seat on government shutdowns are not as strong suits. This is not the first article that's really talked about it. And, you, you know, some of these people, some of you want to hear this. Some of you are like, uh, what? Uh, let me explain what's going on. The first stimulus package, there was a rush. There was absolutely a rush to do it. But the person who really was the voice epicenter for the White House for Trump was Steve Mnuchin. Now understand the first stimulus packages I detailed earlier this morning and a big special last night, which I might bring back again tonight, talked about how there was literally dozens, dozens, as if not almost a hundred different people negotiating the second, the first stimulus package and the Temple of Doom was not the vortex of anything. She was barely even mentioned. Mark Meadows was not around then. And so that was the first thing. People were working, and a lot of people were working. Second, the real core vortex for purposes of the White House of the first stimulus package was Steve Mnuchin. This time, the real core vortex is Mark Meadows. Steve Mnuchin is accompanying him, but the person who has the president's ear the most is Mark Meadows. Um, it is very well reported that after the first stimulus package was signed by the president in March, the president turned in the Oval Office to Steve Mnuchin, who had just given him this incredibly fast, big first stimulus package deal, and said to Mnuchin, I never should have signed it, you're to blame. Uh, Mnuchin disputes the, the claim, but it's been widely reported that that's what happened. And that this time, Mnuchin has been more of the chaperone for Meadows, who is really keeping the president's ear. Um, but whether you like it or not, <laughs> that's where we go. Uh, Meadows was not pleased, nor was the president, when the Temple of Doom did not... Uh, even acknowledge that Meadows made an offer. If you didn't follow what happened on Friday, you know, the president came up with this incredible offer. I mean, it was incredibly good. It was a $1.3 trillion offer compared to the skinny bill proposal of $500 billion, um, compared to the Heels Act, which Mitch McConnell drafted, which I reported in a big story earlier today and last night that President Trump never had anything to do with that Heels Act. Nothing to do with it. In fact, he calls it irrelevant irrelevant. So um, the president came in at $1.3 trillion. It was given to the Temple Doom. And then she acted like no conversation ever happened. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I gotta tell you, um, the president and Meadows were not pleased with the Temple of Doom for continually acting like nothing ever happens. Now, as you know what's going on with her, but I'm just going to ignore her because she's becoming slightly irrelevant. <laughs> Don't you love that term? Uh, is that she came from 2-4 to 2-2, 2-1, 2 and everyone's sort of mocking her now because no one understands what was cut out. What $200 billion was just cut out in the end? Na whatever your name is. <laughs> what was just cut out? And she doesn't know. She can't tell you, and she has no idea. That's why it's being done really in a new, incredible, escalated way. All right, so some viewers were asking me in the last half hour on social media, it's just, 
you know, what's going to happen with um, the election and how is stimulus Harris, Biden, Trump have some impact on stimulus? Okay, there's a lot of things there, but let me get to the really big news. The really big news is that there's a lot of chatter now and a big new report out minutes ago that says despite whether Biden wins or Trump wins, you should likely expect a third stimulus package with a third round of checks. Um, the question is how soon and how much money would this be? Most indications suggest it would likely be floated and revealed to the American public in a bill somewhere in early January, and that it would likely get approved somewhere in January, by no, but no later than um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> you, you know, you got to get stimulated before Valentine's Day or on Valentine's Day. Um, how big will it be? I mean, it depends on the person, but... There is a report out today that Biden will look for a $3 trillion Build Back America plan uh, if elected. $3 trillion? Um, this would be the biggest bailout ever of the U.S. economy. This is bigger than Nancy's current proposal, which is a 2-4. This is double the Trump's 1.3 from Friday, so there's a lot of money. Um, Jake Sullivan, a senior policy advisor to Biden, said, we've always contemplated the need for additional stimulus. We will just confront the stimulus when we find, we will confront the situation when we find it in January. What does that mean? It means that they're going to see the impact of this stimulus check round, this stimulus unemployment round, this eviction moratorium round, and that they're going to modify it based upon what the economy looks like when they, whoever comes in the office in January. Uh, Biden's plan is $2.7 trillion of manufacturing, engineering, and infrastructure in four years, $775 billion for working parents. Um, it's a lot of money. Trump would also spend big in January, if not before, if re-elected, says the same report. Um, Trump asked for $2 trillion of infrastructure bill back in March, and that would likely land in 2021 as well. So when they're both really sort of teeing up, and this is before you even talk about Harris as the VP nominee with that bill there, <laughs> more about that in a second, this is a lot, of t uh, a lot of ramping up to do third stimulus. So to answer that viewer's comment, this stimulus round is not going to be held to January. That's what the Temple of Doom wants you to think. Uh, it's just not happening. This round is going to be for this situation. And if, if you don't realize, because I don't usually talk about it, this is, we call the second stimulus package, but this is really the fifth one because there was a first with a check, and then there was a second, third, and fourth that went in between that was really for businesses. And then came to this one, which in some regards, some people call it the fifth stimulus package. I call it the second because the second stimulus check. But the, what comes in January will be yet another round. Everyone really thinks it's going to come and it's going to come in a big way. So the great news was you should hear today is that this stimulus check is going to happen now because no one's waiting around for January because it's, you know, what are you going to have, a $6 trillion bill in January, a $9 trillion bill? No, no, no. You're going to do a two-something, one-something trillion dollar bill now. And then in January, you're going to do another th bill that's going to be somewhere around two. Now, ironically, um, the, the same report said that Biden's group that's looking at his third stimulus package round is the one that did the 2009 stimulus package after the recession. Um, when uh, Obama came in, they had to rush in and do a stimulus package. That was $787 billion American Re Recovery and Reinvestment Act, but... They understand that a lot of that act was complete wasteful spending and did nothing. Let's go to, finally, Mitch one more time. Mitch now sees and is really doing what I hoped a lot of other congressional leaders would do. And I can't believe I'm praising Mitch McConnell on this channel. But he's saying, hey, I've looked at the numbers now, and I understand what numbers have helped America and which just don't work. He understands stimulus checks help absolutely help. He understands FPUC employment, unemployment helps. That's why he wants $600. He wants $600. Uh, he understands that 
another round of PPP helps you as a worker because it gives you an ability to go back to work and the employer having money to pay you. That's the PPP program. And so he wants to ensure that these things get out there and get out there now. And in his words, it has nothing to do with the election. It has to do with you. Um, it's been a great day so far. I hope your money has been going well. Our call to action now is to really try to get to 250,000 subscribers in two weeks from yesterday. Um, we're trying to add 25,000 more subscribers from where we are. I think we can do it. So hit that subscribe button on the front of this channel. If you're on the comments of this channel, you're commenting and you see a little red button next to you, then you're subscribed. If you think you're subscribed but you don't see a little red button then go into the pinned comment that I post this chant to this video and it'll show you how to ensure that you have subscribed you may have to unsubscribe and resubscribe and then hit the alert which is a little bell next to the subscribe button so you get an alert when a new video goes live um, next hit the like button because every time you like the videos of this channel it helps the videos go higher in the rankings there have been some crazy ass videos today <laughs> I mean it's just you know and I'm referring to that guy in the purple shirt that had really strange lighting <laughs> in the morning or you know uh, <laughs> or upload the, or the video upload got really delayed not because of my doing I'm referring to those channels are doing this and this and that and those and Vogue moves telling you you're getting a stimulus check today and stimulus check is coming tomorrow it's just get this channel ranking higher by liking the video. Coming up next on Afternoons L Light is Hazard Pay, then FPUC, and finally Rent. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused. Have a great Monday afternoon. You deserve it. As always, stay in